there's a huge difference between 16-bit and 24-bit in that 16-bit allows 65,000 different levels to be measured. Um, and that's like uh, like volume, kind, or, kind, yeah, vo volume and research. other, yeah, volumes and other things. And uh, the uh, in the sampling the actual waveform itself, if you're at 44.1, then it samples at you know 44 times per second or whatever. Um, with 48, it increases it that much. But when you go to 24 bit, it actually gives you 17 million levels instead of 65,000. That's a freaking huge, so, huge leap. I guess with the accurate comparison, because people understand video, they bought HDTVs, they know, you know, those dimensions. Right. Would, would, would a semi-accurate comparison be, you know, um, the sampling rate might be the, the, the size of the screen, the number of pixels, and then the bit rate, the, the bit depth is how many different colors each pixel. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of the vibe, how vibrant, how, you know, right. how much dynamic range. Uh, well, yes, technically, our human hearing only goes to from 20 cycles to 20,000 cycles. And obviously, at 44K, you know, you 44.1, you where the filter cuts off at like 22K or whatever, that's 2,000 2, cycles above the range of human hearing. So it shouldn't make any difference at all, but yet it does. And the reason why it does is because waves affect waves so if you've got lots of high frequency right. stuff it affects the harmonics of the things below it yeah. and so that all adds up to an experience you know just... so about what because there's a whole lot we don't know you right. know what i mean but it's like you can trust your ears i know when i made the switch to 48k 24 bit when recording all of a sudden i got depth in kick drums that i hadn't gotten before mm -hmm. i like i could the the transients were much punchier like you know it, it just like when you go to 96k and you're mixing at 96k all of a sudden you start to hear how discrete things move in the stereo field and you can hear tiny differences where everything kind of gets blurred at 44.1 and that's because your brain is a like the way your ears work within stereoscopic thing it's it's in order to find prey or to find predators so an incredibly good mechanism for finding where something came from. That's what it's all about. It's mm -hmm. it's all biology and trying to stay alive, right? right? Like our our legs are only a delivery device for sperm. It's like <laughs> to get sperm somewhere, you know what I mean? And this is what our ears do, keeps us from getting eaten and right. finds us something to eat. And it's really important when that quail's walking through the grass that you know where that is and you can kind of get to it. Um, so you're you're literally able to hear things in six microseconds difference. Now, 44.1K is not able to catch thing, capture things that fast. It might catch like a transient or something in this, but probably, probably missed it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So things get kind of blurred in the stereo field. You don't hear the kind of clarity in a great mix. You won't hear just how clearly things are defined in the field. They did this right. thing where you could format, actually, right. a format that you could actually listen to 48K 24 bit, you would absolutely hear the difference right away with your regular speakers. Just, like, I mean, not even like, you know, studio, you know, Mackie studio monitors. You like just your No, just your, your system at home. You would even hear with, a difference. Even, those, even like with the home systems that, you know, they, they color the sound anyway, they make it sound. Yeah. Oh, and, you, and, you can yeah, still. Yeah, exactly. You could still hear the difference. There's just a difference in depth. The way things, the fullness of things as they decay, the like, there's just, there's just a big difference. I know when I went the that be all end all. bit is not necessarily good. There's exactly. Factors. Yeah, yeah. Because there, I mean, the thing with audio and especially with audio is like, you know, you turn something up and, you know, like the light is white or it's blue or it's magenta or it's green, you know, the, in, in video, like whatever, you know, right. that's, it's like, it's what it is. You know what right. I mean? In audio it's what it is to the beholder and there's right. a whole bunch of factors like it's what the sound is it's what the what the sound is itself what medium you're playing it through um the coloration of the console that you're playing it through the speakers that you're yeah. playing it through the room that you're playing it in like there are just a million different combinations of things you know what i mean the thing is when you're thinking about doing the best most sonically pure audio with the most dynamic head range and uh, dynamic range and headroom um you want to use the best thing available you know what i mean and the best available in digital is 96k 24 bit it's great um, and it gives you a chance to master for the art and not for the commerce
it would be much better if they did the you know remastering specifically for it and um that will make it really really yeah, worth it so yeah, if they yeah. if you it, maybe it's going to be the ca caveat of remastered for 24-bit and if that's the caveat that's the one i'm going to buy you right. know what i mean like that's that's what i'm going to buy